narcissistic mothers, you don't think my mom's out to get me. You don't think my mom's all about herself. Who thinks that as a kid? You think I'm safe in mom's view. And the thing about narcissistic mothers is often they will create a world where you turn to them. They create the anxieties that you feel and then they become the source to fix those anxieties. It is a form of love bomb devalue. It's the same cycle. Give your kid anxieties over something and then be the person they turn to when they have those anxieties. What does that make mommy? Super important, super critical. So the one thing that can fix everything. So then you grow up and you think, well, my mom was always there helping me with, oh, wait a minute. She installed the buttons. She pushed the buttons. And then she pretended the buttons weren't installed by her and fixed the problem. She became, they create dependency. They create learned helplessness. They, they make children, they either do that or they push you away and make you grow yourself up. So in an scapegoat situation, they may install the anxiety button, push on it. And then when you come to them, push harder on it and make you feel like it's your fault. And then you have to fix it. But you're still turning to them because they're mom. It's tricky talking about the moms <laughs> because, you know, the motherhood is sacred thing because moms are supposed to love you unconditionally because narcissistic mothers give you the false image of what love is based on how they love, right? And it's hard to then say, well, that mother doesn't love their child or that mother is not being good to their child because oftentimes the narcissistic mom is following by the book according to how parenting should look what they're doing is taking the information just like they do with psychology and twisting it to suit their needs but there's one particular thing i've been thinking about and that is the way they always seem to weave their way into your life from the time you're a child to the time you all the way as long as you know them the way it's not just weave their way into your life like in a healthy normal your mom can be in your life kind of way it's in this way that makes it turn the focus back to her the way that they weave their their self into your life to then turn your focus onto her from the time you're little all the way to when you grow up <laughs> right and 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 then some so um why why do they do this why do they need to like make it about them instead of letting you individuate and have your own life from the time you're little they are controlling everything. They're controlling your interactions with other people, what you think about the world around you. They're not allowing you to experience life from an individual viewpoint, from being yourself and experiencing life and then coming to them with, mommy, why does this do this? Mommy, this hurts, help me. Mom, you know, like they're not allowing for a natural mother-child relationship. What they're doing is conducting you at, like a puppet, really, and and in filling your head, preloading information into your head, they're they're telling you things before they happen. They're they're controlling the narrative through directing things and controlling things off into the future. They think they're clever about this, but if you watch, it's really easy to see. So people say, can a, can a narcissist be a good mother? My answer is going to be pretty black and white here. No, and here's why: everything is filtered through their you know, ego and their own insecurities, their own need for attention, their own need for supply. How it's like any relationship with a narcissist. Can it ever be healthy? No, it can't because the dynamic of a relationship takes multiple people. It takes you and the other person or you and whoever's involved. In a family, the narcissistic mother controls the family through her narcissism through her controlling, through her gaslighting, through her manipulating, and all of the tactics every narcissist uses. And so therefore, none of these relationships, including your familial relationship, can be healthy until you separate from that narcissist and try and form relationships on an individual basis with, these, with the other rest of your family. And try and form that with the knowing that you've been programmed by the narcissistic person, and you're going to have to work really hard to have good sibling relationships, to have good relationships with the non-toxic parent, because it's everything that you've been taught is filtered through her narcissism. She is loading your head full of programming that then is how you relate to everyone else in the world. You see, they can twist everything because everything, everything that they do is filtered through the lens of narcissism. They can't act outside of it. 
they can only act from ego, from self-protection, from their own insecurities, and from their own need to control everything and have everything come back to being about them. Even when they say things like it's for your well-being, it's for the child's well-being, what they mean is it's for my well-being, but it serves my relationship with my child. It's not about the child as an individual. Does that make sense? I hope because, and if you've experienced this, you know what I'm talking about. It's It can be very covert and very confusing because here you have this person you're supposed to look to as a mother. And, and I don't know, I work with people in coaching a lot who have had narcissistic mothers. And this is kind of a theme I hear where they there's a conflict inside themselves. This is a sort of cognitive dissonance, right? Of, but she's my mom. 